Hey, 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 hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how you can do things like ear blink, wing blink, and even eye jiggle movement for your VTuber avatar in a lot of though. Now, of course, there's a lot more that you can do, but again, we're going to be focused solely on getting it so when we blink, we can be able to do some triggers and stuff. So, over here in the Wadido editor. Now, this really depends on what tracker you are going to use. Now, again, the as I continue on with this tutorial, obviously it'll be the same workflow. So if I explain, you know, for my case, I'm going to use iFacial mocap and the pendulum physics here. The same thing can apply with webcam. You just go to media pipe tracker, you click on pendulum physics, that's fine. Same thing with real life. So all you have to do, at least as a first step, is make sure you choose any face tracker the body tracker ones like rococo xns or perception neuron they're not going to work with the pendulum stuff because they're full body tracking but for anything that's face tracking related you can be able to add that so eye facial mocap real live media pipe open c face and such you can be able to add your lovely pendulum stuff so for my case, I'm going to be using eye facial mocap, but for your case, you may want to use media pipe. But pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to go to the pendulum physics here, and this is where all the magic can happen. So pretty much you can be able to go ahead, you know, in order to, by the way, if you're wondering how the heck did I got these other little pendulums here, you can simply just click on load pendulum physics profile, and then you can click on default append or override if you want and you can be able to choose which ones you want and you can be able to utilize these however you want you know you just add it and you can be able to have some like slight arm sway you can adjust these settings however you want and such so pretty much but we're here to make some ear blinking and eye jiggle movement so let's get started with that now, by default, there should actually be one called Blink Receptor. This is a template for like how you can actually set up the inputs and all that and the arm. If by any chance you want to have it where, you know, you just have like an already made template and just slap it on there. This is especially useful if you're going to be using like, let's say, webcam and your eyes are linked together. For that case, you could use this as a template. But for my case, I'm going to actually make one from scratch now I'm gonna press on the add element and by default it will have it where it will duplicate the one before in order to actually fix this all you have to do is go into input press the X button and then affected bones here you just remove all that and if there's any arms just remove that just so that way we can start completely from scratch now we're gonna give it a name for my case because I'm a snow angel and not a cat vtuber I'm gonna type in wing L so that way you know you will see that I can like if I blink or wink my wing will be going down and again you can apply your knowledge depending on what the heck you want so for this case actually I'm gonna call this blink L just so it makes more sense so blink L we're gonna call it that and we're gonna make sure it's enabled set the weight to one you can of course go over if you want if you need more of a weight you can set it to three but I'll leave it to one for now. Let's set up an input. We're going to press on add element. We're going to click on expand. Set the input type to blend shape. And then set the blend shape to blink. I blink left. This should also work fine if you are, if you're someone that don't know what air kit blend shapes are. And your model happens to not have air kit at all. It should work fine because the way Wadudo sets up the tracking, you know, you should be fine. Don't worry. Either way, though, once you have that, you can adjust these things however you want. Personally, I like to set up clamping. This prevents the pendulum from going too far, depending on, like, like how do I say? If I were to wink, right, and my wing were to be going down and stuff, and let's say if I were, you know, messing with the settings and stuff, it will make sure that my wing doesn't do some too crazy stuff so it's nice to have it as like a little limitation to make it like you know not max out like crazy unless you want that but i'll add that but you can adjust these settings by the way i'm sorry to say this again uh but you can also you know i'll say this this is this actually means multiply by the way on the input and then this is additive if you know 
adding if you want. And you can use absolute value, but again, I'm going to leave these as default because they're fine. So, as for input smoothing duration, this is really nice if you want to have some smoothness. If you want it to be more, like, quicker, you can set it to zero, or I'd recommend maybe at least have some little value at best. But default, you know, 0 0.1 should be pretty good already. Now what you're going to do, if you want to add some smoothness to your wing blink or your ear blink or even just the jiggle, if you want to have like that sort of, you know, pendulum like what live 2 models have, you can add some arms if you like. So you can adjust the lengths and all that stuff. You can even add as many as you like if you want. But otherwise though, it really depends. But this will affect like how the jiggle will be, will, you know. It'll just affect that, so you can experiment with it. For the sake of the video, I'm going to actually leave this, you know, pendulum here. If you want to hide this pendulum, if you're curious about that, all you have to do is just close the entire thing and you can close it. But you can have this as you are tweaking the settings, but make sure you close it when you're done. And then what you're going to do, if you want a bone-based solution for ear blink or wing blinks or anything related, you can simply just click on add element under affected bones and child transformations click here and for the case of non-humanoid bones like ears and wings you need to use child transforms if you use the bones here you're going to end up only having humanoid bones this is not what you want so make sure to select on child transforms add an element and you're going to probably have a mess of oh my so the best I would recommend is that go through each of the slots here and look at the last bone name. This I know it's inconvenient. I best I would recommend if you know how to use Unity, you can reference Unity as to where the heck the bones are much faster. Hopefully this will get resolved so that way it's not super inconvenient in the future though. But for the time being, I will go ahead and kind of dig through these files here. It should be around the corner. Let's see. Left arm. So it should be right about here. So for my case, I'm going to choose my third bone of the wing. And then you can set it to rotation type. Then you can set it to reset child transforms if you want to mess with that. I usually leave this alone to be honest, but you know, it may help you, you know, experiment with it. But then you have your axis. So if you want this to move in a particular way or something like that, you can, depending on movement, you can go through with it, through this and adjust accordingly. Default should be fine though. You can increase the intensity so that way you can start seeing that your ear or your wing is starting to blink like so of course again if by any chance it's not working i haven't tested this yet but if by any chance let's say your ear there is no like how do i describe this i would say the, this third bone here of my wing doesn't have any physics registered to it at all. So I'd recommend at least having a parent bone to your ear or wing or something like that where this has no physics at all. Just so that way you can be able to animate it. This one here, it has it. It should be able to work just fine. See, I'm able to get to work. But again, you know, you could try messing with the different bones. But overall, it, you should be fine, to be honest, with how this is working. If you have any difficulties with this, of course, you can join the Wadabido Discord server and we'd be happy to help you out over there. But overall, you should be fine to get this working. Either way, you can even set up an offset if you need it to be adjusted, depending on your model. Otherwise, you know, you can have a bone base, wing, or ear movement, but what about eye jiggle movement? How we can set that up is that we can actually go into affected blend shapes, press on add element here, and if you're a VRM model, make sure to click on yes for VRM proxies, you know, blend shape proxy. Otherwise, if you are an FBX model from, you know, FBX to Wadido Avatar, I would recommend just leaving that as to no, making sure this is applied to all skin meshes, and then click on the blend shape list and go through your blend shapes to see which one applies to your eye jiggle. Now, you may be wondering, if you're a Void model and you're wondering, wait a second, 
I don't have all these blend shapes here. How the heck do you have all these blend shapes, Kana? You need Blender to actually rig your highlight blend shape. Now, technically, technically, there is a way you can actually automatically generate your eye jiggle for Void, but you do need to use Unity, and you do need to have HANA tools installed, and you need to download a text file that can do the auto-rigging for you. I'll leave in the description below the tutorial regarding that for Void users, but for the most part, I'll also leave a tutorial there, so if you don't have HANA tools, I will leave in the, the description a Blender tutorial on how to rig blend shape from complete scratch. So hopefully that will help you out. But Roy Mall by default don't have iJiggle blend shape. You'll have to create either by HANA tool or rigging it yourself with Blender. So yeah. Either way, I'm going to set this to highlight down L. And when I blink, as you can see, I'm able to have some jiggle movement. And of course, it's not going to be one blend shape. You can definitely add multiple if you want. Let's say I want to have pupil rotate one L. And I can be able to do something like this, as you can see. So yeah, I do recommend having plenty of blend shapes, depending on the style of jiggle that you want. But otherwise, though, you know, you can be able to do this sort of crazy stuff just with blend shapes. And, you know, you can tweak it however you want with intensity or offset. So, yeah. But pretty much overall, you can, of course, apply it to the other eye. So when I press on add element, it's going to, again, do the duplication. So I'm going to have to manually go ahead and switch this over to my other eye. So this will be my right eye. And then I'm going to set this so instead of the right wing, it's going to be set... Or instead of my left wing, is going to be set to my right wing. Now, you also may be wondering as well, depending, you know, depending on the step, if you have, let's say, another, like, ear, right? And you might be wondering, why the heck is my wing going up instead of down, right? Well, for that sort of case, it's actually because you may want to actually set the intensity to be the other way around. So use a negative value instead, so that way you can be able to do this. So remember your negatives and positives, very important in the 3D world. So make sure of that. And then of course for the right eye, I can set so that way it is set to the other, the right version of the eye. And that way when I wink, it can be able to trigger much more properly. And as a little extra bonus, what you can also do if, let's say, when you widen your eyes, you can also have a trigger for that as well. Simply, again, you can add element. Say, let's say this is wide R. So instead, you'll have this set to the eye wide right instead. And then when I widen my eye, they should trigger, but you should change it. So I'd say make the intensity to positive, so it does that. Ooh. And of course, again, you can adjust the settings if you want. But otherwise, though, as you can see, you can be able to blink. And then you can widen your eyes and do this. Whoa. Whoa. So yeah. Either way, though... Again, it's a matter of trial and error. You'll have to mess with it. But I do hope that this at least helps you out on understanding how to do the pendulum physics here. You know, like how you can, you know, add your, you know, your blinking, whether ears or wings or whatever the heck it is, or even your eye jiggle and stuff. So, yeah. And of course, if you ever need more help, like more on hands technical support for Wilder Dope, Please join the Waterdo Discord server. Me, the dev, and other nerds out there. We are happy to help you out on your Waterdo journey. So join, you know, learn some new things over there. And either way, I hope you guys have a lovely day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye.